Hey team and welcome to the 5 minute guide for Discipline Priest. The Discipline Priest is an extremely difficult healer which utilizes holy magic with a twist of shadow to punish their foes and restore health to their allies. It excels at raid healing with the ability to heal large groups of players without the use of cooldowns. This makes it very efficient at healing raid wide damage that occurs often because it can achieve 10 to 15 man healing very easily and every 20 seconds or so if need be. There are two different talent builds for the Disc Priest, one for raid healing and one for dungeon healing. The raid healing build focuses on making our big raid wide combo stronger and more efficient at using our mana, as well as things like evangelism to extend our atonements and halo for the raid wide burst of healing. On the other hand, the dungeon talent build focuses on increasing our damage output and giving us a little bit more burst healing through talents like Sins of the Many. The Disc Priest is a very unique spec in that it revolves around dealing damage to enemies to heal. This is done through one of our passives, Atonement. Atonement is applied to allies through Power Word Shield, Power Word Radiance, or Shadow Mend. Once it's applied, it will last for a set amount of time. Throughout this time, any damage done to enemies will heal allies currently affected by Atonement for a portion of the damage dealt, increased by our mastery. So, the basic combo is to apply Atonements to our allies, usually using Power Word Shield or Power Word Radiance for multiple allies, then start DPSing an enemy using Schism first, applying and maintaining Shadow Word Pain, casting Power Word Solace and Penance, and filling with Smite when everything else is on cooldown. Disc Priest is a very preemptive healer. It generally takes twice as long as other healers to start to be effective, because it has an additional step that others don't get in getting healing to its allies. So, we have to try and learn when the damage is coming, and spend 5 seconds or so beforehand setting up your atonements so you can pop off at the right time. I've got to mention Shadow Men too. In emergency situations and with a certain trait, we want to start using Shadow Men to top our friends up. But, you want to aim to do this as little as possible. Healing with Atonement is the way to go whenever you're in a situation that allows it. In general, try to use Shadow Mend as few times as possible. Now that we've gone over what makes the spec tick, I can start to go over the general healing strategy for dungeons and raids. Firstly, dungeons. Disc is a difficult healer to use while in dungeons, and you have to keep in mind that it doesn't respond too well to too much burst damage. We want to be doing as much damage as possible as Disc in dungeons, while keeping Atonement up on the tank as much as we can. The extra damage we provide will help speed along the group a lot more than you might think. In general, apply Atonement to targets that need healing and follow the DPS priority that I laid out before, remembering to reapply when it wears out before doing any more damage. We also have two options for keeping tanks alive or healing through high burst damage, Pain Suppression and Rapture. Both of these can be used on a single person to save them from death through a number of high damage situations. Use them and use them often. Because of the nature of Disc, it can struggle with certain affixes, specifically the ones which require the healer to do more burst, bursting and grievous. During these weeks, most people steer clear of healing dungeons as Disc in general, but if you still want to, I recommend taking the Shadow Covenant talent to give yourself that little bit of extra burst group healing. It can easily save the day by itself. Next let's go over the raid healing strategy. For the most part, you want to be keeping Atonement up on the tanks at all times, as well as DPSing the boss at all times. Other than that, you want to use Radiance whenever people are taking damage, and try to cast Halo preemptively when you know raid-wide damage is incoming. You can still use Power Word Shield to apply Atonement to someone you know will be taking damage as a one-off, just try not to spam it too much. There's this big wombo combo that's really good to do when you know big raid damage is coming, and it goes like this. Apply 5 or 6 Atonements with Power Word Shield, Raptured if you want them to be even stronger. Cast Radiance twice, cast Evangelism, cast Halo, use Shadow Fiend, Cast Schism, cast Power Word Solace, cast Penance, then spam Smite. If you do this successfully and at the perfect time, you will see massive amounts of raid wide healing occur. This is very hard to pull off with good timing, but if you do, you and the rest of your raid will know about it. The last thing I want to talk about for Disc is mouse over macros. I believe these are good for all healers, but especially for Disc Priests, as they allow you to apply atonements to allies while you are still targeting the boss or whatever enemy you're fighting. I'll put on screen now how to create them. But once you have them, just replace the spell on your bars with this macro, and it will work while you have your mouse over your allies, or over their party or raid frames. You don't even need to untarget the boss. This spec is really difficult, so don't be discouraged. It will take you a while to learn well, and I really recommend you give those mouse overs a go. They make it a lot more simple once you get used to them. Anyway team, that has been the Disc Priest. A great healer and one of the most engaging specs in the game. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that sub button, I'll be coming out with more of these guides. And come say hi to me on Twitch, I'm always hanging out there with the rest of the team. Thanks for watching, I hope this was helpful, and I will see you again.